of the fundamental rights of these young ones. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate this year's NAPS week, this message must be sounded loud and clear. Discriminatory practices have no place in 21st century education services delivery. We can only enjoy quality education when the state agencies responsible for education support all schools and offer all a level play field, irrespective of the type of ownership of these schools. Therefore, during this year's celebration, all our activities such as root match, root matches of school, uh, school children, symposia, sporting, and other competitive activities will drum home the need for an end to all forms of discriminatory practices in education. Even as we go on route matches to demonstrate the patriotism to private education actors who are championing the growth of Ghana's education system, we will also proclaim our frustrations with the unfair system of education. As private schools celebrate this joyous week, I urge all regions, districts, zones to take up the clarion call for the BEC assessment. Fair computerized placement be on the line if it continues losing the contest to private schools. But some believe that even the referee appears to be wearing the opposing team's jersey. Yes, our referee, the Ministry of Education, towards attaining the required outcomes. So how do you initiate an intervention when a major segment of our target, of your target, was not addressed, assessed, to find out their strengths and weaknesses? Again, how do you introduce an education reform, the Common Core Program for all children, and yet when it comes to training teachers, to handle the program, deny private school teachers from participating in the training. In this difficult COVID and Ukrainian war economy, would WAEC charge very exorbitant BEC registration fees, which the Ministry of Education will quickly settle for private school, so public schools. Only public schools but close its ears to appeals for at least subsidizing the fees of private schools. Ladies and gentlemen, I could go on and on citing examples of how our mother ministry treats private schools like foster children. These days, private schools hardly get even crumbs falling from the table of the ministry, but rather than follow our arms and relent. NAPS will fight to have its fair share of the national cake, which is paid with our taxes. In this regard, I wish to assure private school parents that NAPS will fight tooth and nail to ensure that our world who write the PC get fair assessment from WAEC. We shall also make sure that a computerized placement system system is based purely on merit and that private school children deserving a category 8 school are placed in these schools. In this regard, we are considering legal actions towards abolishing the 30% priority placement policy which benefits public schools. It is our belief that every child in our motherland deserves to be treated fairly in attaining his or educational dreams.